Hey, what's going on YouTube? Ryan Knows Tech here with techinform.us and I thought I'd do a sixth month review of uh, how it's held up and how it's held up of the, the mid-2009 MacBook Pro. This is the 13 inch 2.5 gigahertz uh, core to do with 4 gigs of RAM and the 250 gig drive. Um, I haven't done anything with the specs yet. I am planning on putting a 500 gig 7200 RPM hard drive in here uh, from Western Digital and 8 gigs of DDR3 memory um, instead of the 250 and the 4 gig of RAM within the next uh, probably two or three weeks after I get the iPhone. But anyways, this is uh, pretty much just going to be hardware, how the physical device is held up since then. So it's been uh, six months this week. It's I've used it every day. It's been a great experience. I love using a Mac. I think it's really well built. Um, but there are a couple things that I think they could change. Uh, you probably can't see it on camera. Actually, you can. Right here, there's three distinct, maybe even four there, three distinct tiny little dents. And it is a little dent, and uh, inside it looks like it's got some black. So whatever hit it, hit it hard enough to leave some uh, black in there. I've tried cleaning it with water, some you know, pretty light chemicals like Windex, and it hasn't uh, has not come off. It, I don't th really think it hurts the device look too bad, but uh, I think this aluminum could be harder. I've seen some pretty good dents on these uh, from a couple of my friends that have MacBook Pros. I think that the aluminum could definitely be harder. As far as scratch resistance, the the top case here, aside from that, has been uh, very good with scratches. There's nothing on the case aside from that on the outside. Um, the ports, sometimes you'll see after having one of these for a while, gets real nicked up around the ports. I have noticed where I try to fumble and put the cords in, the little icons of what it is has worn out. Not like I don't know what they are, so that's not a problem. Uh, the front is just fine, no damage or wear there. Um, the other side, where your, where your Kensington lock goes here, if you put it on and it gets pulled or tugged a little bit, you can see a little uh, scratch there. It's not too bad though, but uh, again, the aluminum could be toughened up. On the bottom, I think this is really where they could do a little bit better job. And that again would have to do with the uh, aluminum being toughened up. You can see there's a couple little scratches here. Little um, nicks on the edge. Nothing too bad. Just a couple little scratches there in the middle. And it, it does actually creak right here. I think maybe one of my screws is loose, but I'll have this back plate off when I do the RAM and hard drive installation, which I'll probably make a video about. Opening it up, I have used a keyboard cover for probably a third or a fourth of the time I've had the laptop. Um, so it's been in protection. The keyboard isn't as good as this keyboard, which might look familiar to a lot of you iMac owners. But it is pretty good. It's really nice to type on. However, uh, you can kind of see a little bit of finger oil that uh, I find hard to get off. Are there any chemicals that uh, anybody knows to get that off there? I've tried water. Um, I don't know how to get some of that up, but you can see that it has been used. Trackpad's great, no damage there, no damage on uh, anything in here. The screen is probably my favorite part about this laptop. It is uh, glossy, which makes it slightly difficult to read, arts, read outside, but it's bright enough. It's probably, yep, it's up all the way there. It's bright enough that uh, you can definitely read it pretty much in any condition you're in. Um, scratch resistant screen, yeah, I've never had any problems with scratches on the screen. Of course, I've never you know, taken my unboxing knife to it, um, as of now, <laughs> but it, it's been, it's been really good. I see a lot of people, they have scratches up here, or dents rather, up here and up here. I haven't had any of that. Uh, the only time I've dropped it, I actually dropped it, um, this morning off, off my bed on the floor and that did absolutely no damage. Um, but the previous time I dropped it back in, I don't know, February, March, it hit uh, on this corner and there's absolutely no damage there. So the corners seem to be all right. Anyways, the 13-inch MacBook Pro, sixth month, damage history, anything. I've pretty much just got this little place here. Nothing too bad. I, I will be looking to upgrade within the next year or two. Um, it's doing all right now, and I'll probably just go for a Core i7 at that point. So, thanks for watching this. Uh, if you've got a MacBook Pro, please let me know. Um, have you had any trouble with it? Any problems with the screen, with the operating system, with anything? Another thing I'd like to touch on, the operating system. I know with Windows, if you use it... Uh, for more than about a year or two, and you, you can even feel it in the first month, it really slows down. You have to start running all kinds of cleaning stuff, but it's never the same until you reinstall. And with this, I have had that to a degree, but it's nowhere as bad as Windows. I find that OS X uses about 100 gig on disk, or that's not true, I'm using about 50 gig of that, but OS X still uses 50 gig, which I think is a lot, uh, more than Windows, but 
not a big deal. So let me know uh, your experiences with your Mac, your MacBook Pro, whatever Mac you've got. Can't wait to read and reply read and replied those. In the meantime, check out our website, techinform.us. The, the final product is coming along shortly, but uh, it's being controlled from iWeb on this guy right now. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz, and every Tuesday night between 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus, we host our live web shows. So we see you guys there or in tomorrow's video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.